man, guys, I am so tired. I'm just exhausted all the time. I've been having so much trouble sleeping. I don't know why. I'm back in my office today, hoping that it will like convince me to do some work. But I just realized I left my notes at home from my last meeting with my advisor that had like the stuff I actually need to do. So <laughs> guess I don't need to do anything. <laughs> no, that's a lie, but. I have a meeting this week with our department admin to talk about what I need to do so that I can actually graduate on time um, and when I want to, so that's exciting. Making some slow but good progress on getting the thesis done. I now have the second chapter imported, um, so that's two out of four chapters. Uh, unfortunately, they were the chapters that were already written, uh, but the last chapter is, you know, like I don't know, 80% done maybe? I'm still waiting on some stimulations. I, ugh, I'm i getting close. I'm at about 85% done with that huge grid of like 150,000 simulations I need to do. But for some reason, I need to do about three more jobs to get them all done. And the last job has been in the queue for like a week and it's so annoying. Just run. <laughs> but that's right, it's gonna get done. It's gonna get done now. I'm not gonna run out of time on the cluster. Crisis has been averted even after I fucked up big time um, over break. I don't want to get too like down in this, but I've just been really struggling lately. I don't know if it's just the pandemic, because God, that's been a thing forever. Or I'm just tired and the winter, anxiety about my future, I don't know. I've also been struggling a lot as a content creator because I try not to focus on the numbers because the numbers aren't the important part. Like, I really enjoy the connections that I get to make with you all. It makes me really happy out of the comments I get. Like, hearing someone say that I inspired them to study something about space or to get back into an interest in space or that they shared me with their children, which FYI, I do swear sometimes and I'm not like trying to make kid-friendly content here, but happy to be an inspiration, but um, those numbers are always there and it's uh, it gets really hard to ignore them sometimes. I was describing this the other day to someone and I said it feels like I'm just getting a public grade constantly. Like m many <laughs> academics, I <laughs> want to get good grades. It's really, really hard not to compare yourself to other creators and wonder why are they more successful than me? Or like, what are they doing that I'm not? Or like, what's wrong with my content? Like, what do I need to do? And it's hard and it can sometimes take away the joy because I really enjoy making content or I wouldn't do it. So I don't know. Anyway, it's just been a struggle for me lately. Sorry, this is a bit of a downer. You know, when I was an undergrad, we called this time period the Dark Ages because it was not only like literally dark, because even though we have passed the cross quarter day and we are now closer to the equinox and we are to the solstice, the nights are still longer than the days. And it was just like the cloud cover really gets you down. Like it's just kind of like low level clouds. The weather still sucks. And there's just like not a lot to look forward to in this like <laughs> stretch of year. Like you have holidays, you have a big break, and then you come back and it's like pretty much nothing until spring break. So I'm certainly feeling a little bit of a personal dark ages <laughs> of the soul. <laughs> the long dark tea time of the soul. Anyway, I hope you are all having a much better day than me. And hopefully I will be in a slightly better mood the next time I record one of these. Ah, sorry, I just woke up clearly. <laughs> But I just got an email that's really exciting. That means my jobs, that big, huge grid of simulations that I was running, it, it finished. It's done. 100% done. <laughs> About a month and a half behind schedule, but hey, I will take it. And actually, even though the job blog thinks it's done, I think there's still a few hundred that I'm going to have to rerun because for one reason or another, they actually didn't save the outputs that I need, but that's pretty minor and will be very quick to do. Yay, that's really good news. That means I'm basically done, right? Oh, wait, shit. No, I actually have to, like, do things with all this data I spent so long making. I've also been working on my thesis. I started writing my introduction chapter last week. Um, I'm not sure that all of those words are going to stay in the final draft because I thought, mm, I might have gone a little too far back. I was, like, doing, like, Eudoxus and Aristotle in the celestial spheres, which I don't know how relevant that really is to my work, but it was kind of fun to do and just feels good to be making progress. I met with our student admin last week and she wants me to actually schedule a date for my defense so she can reserve the room that they do them in for me. So I'm going to meet with my advisor in like an hour and ask him what he thinks, but I think we're looking at the first two weeks of April as long as my committee is available. That's in two months. Bah. But I think, I think I'm on track, so that's exciting. Also, I found out that the final thesis deadline date has been moved. It was April 29th, now it's May 4th, so I do have a little bit more wiggle room, but yeah, inching closer. Well, it's official. I have a date for my defense. I scheduled it. 
on April 12th. So I got some work to do in the next two months. <laughs> I have been working on my draft. I think it's coming along pretty nicely. My advisor wants to see the table of contents next week, which I think is very doable. Um, so that's exciting. And all 100% of my simulations are finished, even the last couple stragglers that for some reason or other weren't in the outputs. And I'm working hard on my data analysis and writing and trying not to freak out about the future, although with less success than I perhaps would like on that front. And then that fellowship that I have mentioned before, they are going to be notifying the finalists the first week of March, so I'm like fingers crossed for that because that would at least give me something to do after I graduate. So if I find out in March that I didn't get that, then I will be starting to actually apply for jobs. I am starting to like save a list of them on my laptop, but I think I'm not going to apply until I hear about this fellowship and yeah, it's okay if I need to take a little bit of time between finishing my PhD and jumping back into work. I have been pretty stressed out with everything, and so if you follow me on multiple platforms, you know I probably haven't been as active as I normally am. Still struggling a little bit, but hopefully as we go here over the next couple months, I will be a little bit more back into it. <laughs> But thank you so much for all the really, really kind messages that I got, and I really appreciate all of you that support me and make me feel like I can do this. <laughs> and just for fun, let's that say hello to these guys. Hi! Hello! Even from the back, Pippin is cute. It's a very lovely day today, so I thought I would go for a walk and enjoy the outdoors, and no, not just as a pretext to get a donut. It's so good though. <laughs> So I did some more work on my thesis this week. I added the last chapter that is the um, going to be a paper I'm hopefully going to publish soon. And so that was another big chunk of word count. And I also worked more on writing the introduction. I think I have about one major section left in the introduction. So this is really exciting. I think this word count is starting to like actually get towards the final. I don't know exactly what it's going to be maybe 30,000, which is actually surprisingly low. I mean, I see this as someone who writes novels as a hobby, so like <laughs> 30,000 words is not even a novella. Like, that's a long, short story, so it's kind of crazy. And it definitely seems much longer because the, like, format for the PDF is very, it's like double space, single column. Yeah, so it's like hundreds of pages, and there's tons of figures. You know what they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. I wonder if I actually counted up my figures and counted them as a thousand words. That's an interesting idea. So despite the snow in the background, it's actually above freezing today. And I think it's supposed to be above freezing every day in the forecast, or the 10 day forecast. So this may be a false spring, but I will enjoy it <laughs> while it lasts. And you never know, actually last year in Chicago, we did get our last snow in March. So it's possible we only got one or two more snows coming. So I think my table of contents now is pretty well set for my thesis. Um, like I said, my advisor wants to see this. I haven't sent it to him yet because I just want to go over it again on Monday just to make sure. But this is what it looks like. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> I, had a, I had a good laugh last week when I was writing this section because I didn't even think of this when I titled the section. But like, this sounds like a movie. Or like a screen play. <laughs> I would watch it. I would totally watch it. I was actually just thinking last night. So some of you know, I've talked about it in lives before, but I wanted a dream of mine is to write a kind of pop science book about exoplanets. And as I was trying to fall asleep, I was like, what would I title my book? So what I, I'm leaning towards right now, and all the rise of exoplanets is an amazing title. Not what I think I'm going to go with. I, I was liking planets of another sun, which is like slightly misleading because you can have exoplanets that aren't even around a sun at all, but I like it. I think that's good. Anyway, I'm sitting here in the sun, eating a donut, drinking a coffee. It's easy to think maybe, maybe the dark ages are over. I hope so. Thanks guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye! <laughs>